Good afternoon. I'm Buckeye 19 News Meteorologist Bradley Harvey. And I'm going to take a look here at the weather for the next couple of days and taking us all the way in to the end of May 2010. And today, really warm out there. In fact, if you take a look at our all neck, 83 degrees is what we've seen as our high temperature so far today. Now put that number into perspective. We typically see temperatures right around 76 degrees for this time of year. This morning also quite warm, 63 degrees was our low. And we also have not seen any rain over the last couple of days and today, not any different. Right now, looking real dry across the Buckeye State. Now as we check other conditions across the country, all the action right now across the central plains. We saw some severe weather yesterday from the Dakotas all the way down into western Texas. Not severe threat has now pushed just slightly off to the east, but right now in central Ohio, we are looking dry, lots of sunshine, just a few clouds. And the reason for that is we have high pressure in place, and that is right now across central Pennsylvania. And we're behind this high pressure system, and that's allowing this warm, moist flow to come into our area, and that's allowing our temperatures to really rise up there today. In fact, as we take a look at temperatures across the state, 80 degrees, 83 degrees right now in Columbus. We're 80 degrees in Zanesville, 81 degrees in Akron, and 82 degrees in Cleveland and Cincinnati as well. So as we head into our Wednesday, high pressure is going to continue to dominate the area and bring more sunshine back into central Ohio. But on Thursday, we're going to have a cold front approaching the area, and that's going to bring in that chance of some showers and thunderstorms, especially as we head into Thursday evening and overnight Thursday night. And those storms may continue on into early Friday morning. So another reason for all these warm temperatures is our jet stream. And it is really up here, all the way up across central Canada. And that has allowed a ridge to build in across the region. But we have a tropical system right off the east coast, and that's going to act to break down this ridge. And that's going to cool down our temperatures for the weekend. But we are going to stay well above the average. So details for tonight. We have mostly clear skies. It's going to be uncomfortably warm, 65 degrees for our low temperature. And those winds are going to be light. Now, as we head into our Wednesday, it will be mostly sunny. We have our three H's, hazy, hot, and humid, 88 degrees for our high temperature. And those winds are going to be out of the north and east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we check out our pollen report, we are at those upper moderate levels today, tomorrow, and Thursday. So if you suffer from tree and grass pollen allergies, it's a good idea to limit yourself from being outdoors in this type of air mass for the next couple of days. It's also a good idea to keep those doors closed and those windows shut. That's going to prevent that pollen from getting into your home. And it's also not a bad idea to have some kind of air cleaning system in your home, such as an air purifier and even an air conditioning system. Not a bad idea, especially with those temperatures going way up into the 80s for the remainder of this week. So we check out our air quality forecast. We are at those moderate levels today. And the reason for that is we have that upper level ridge in place. And that is really prevented from vertical mixing from taking place. Plus, with all that sunshine, ozone being produced. And that story is going to continue on into our Wednesday. So we are at this moderate level. So if you are extremely sensitive to these type of things, you want to limit yourself from prolonged outdoor activities. So we check a look at our UV index right now at a 9. That's very high. It would take the average person only about 25 minutes to burn in, this, in these conditions. So you definitely want to take those extra precautions such as wearing a hat, wearing a shirt, having that sunscreen around, and having those sunglasses available to you. And that's going to be our same story as we head into our Wednesday. So definitely take those extra precautions to prevent those harmful rays from causing damage to your body. So as we take a look at our Buckeye Weekly Snapshot, we stay warm on our Thursday, 87 degrees for our high temperature. But we are going to have that chance of showers and storms coming into the area, especially overnight Thursday night and early on the day Friday. Friday, we're going to cool down those temperatures to about 80 degrees. But just in time for the weekend, more bearable temperatures in the upper 70s. Lots of sunshine Saturday and Sunday, and that sunshine is going to continue on into early next week as those temperatures jump up into the lower 80s on Monday and even the middle 80s as we head towards the middle of next week. So stay tuned for more Buckeye 19 News. We'll be right back after this.